would like to say something. Um, my name is Naomi Jones. I live here in Appalachia. I've been a gentleman all my life. Uh, many of the people that I know and I'm friends with are very surprised that I'm a Democrat. But I'm very proud that I'm a Democrat. And I heard you. Uh, <laughs> I've written my letters, I've called the newspapers, and I did, did all that, you know, did all that, and I continue to do that. I think we need to, we need to be better at getting our message out. The Republicans are so good at getting these one-liners of government is bad, shrink government. They have these little catchwords, and it catches on with the public, and I hear it every day among my associates and acquaintances, and all. they're having all these little lines that they've been fed and they believe it. We don't, we've got the truth, I think, on our side. We've got compassion on our side. We want good education for everybody. We want health care for everybody. We want everybody to pay their fair, their fair share of tax. I heard just recently that, um, while the middle class, and we have to worry about this, people in this room, the middle, the middle class is shrinking. Their income <coughs> has, has dropped, the average income has dropped. But the, but the income of the upper earners in our country has increased tremendously, even in the past several years <coughs> since that recession we had. So it's, it's profit, privatization, wanting to sell a prison to a private enterprise and then we rent it from them. What's the reason for all that? It's to put money in the pocket of big business and they in turn will get the legislation they want. And we know that's what's going on right now. We as Democrats need to get our message out that we are for the, these good things. I know people that they just sneer at welfare. They're just so upset about welfare. They you know they just get to the, they just think, they don't know about corporate welfare. They don't know anything about the little hundred dollars that go to welfare. That's a drop in the bucket for the money we're losing to the big corporations in this country. This country is losing the middle class. And the Republican, I had a financial advisor tell me just this week, he says, you know, I, he, don't, I, he doesn't know my politics, but anyway. He says, you know, he says, um, corporations are just sitting on billions of dollars right now. And he says, if, if, uh, if a Republican is elected this next election, that money's going to be turned loose, man. You're going to see the stock market go. And then they're wondering, they're thinking, uh, we're gonna, Obama may have a hard time being reelected because of the economy, but you've got the Republicans hoping That's and right. working on that all the time to keep that they're holding back that money. He said sure. that to me. So people, we need to get the message out. We need to have our little slogans <coughs> and sayings. We need to and hold, hold people accountable. They're saying all kinds of stupid things that they've been saying it about this president for years. I mean, it's so ridiculous. I told one man the other day, I said, it's an insult to your intelligence <laughs> to say that you think maybe Obama doesn't have a birth certificate for this country. I said, you think the Clintons and McCain and the whole weight and might and money of the Republican Party would have uh, let that little item slip? Don't be stupid. But people are stupid. <laughs>